how do you select a good program? And uh, what I would suggest to you is uh, that's a fairly basic decision, and we take basic very, very literally. We, meaning VU Executive Academy, would argue that basic stands for B for branding. First of all, you have to make sure that the program you select is offered by a supplier that has a reasonably good reputation. A is also important because it stands for accreditation. Accreditation gives you an independent audit of accreditation agencies such as AACSB or uh, EFMD, the Equus Accreditation, or FIBA, or AMBA, etc. These are all independent accreditation agencies. Some are more important than others, but they basically vet the courses, the programs, and look whether they are good enough to be accredited. Uh, as we talk about um, selectivity, Selectivity in as far as that from our point of view, it is important that we, collect, that we uh, select students who are able to contribute something to their peers, to the class. So in other words, what we do not want is students who literally just come out of university and have had no business experience, no job experience, and hence can contribute very little. Internationalization is also an important selection criteria and it comes in various forms and shapes and facets. Number one, we are looking for cohorts, for classes that are very international in their composition. Uh, it also comes in the shape and form of faculty. While VU Vienna has a large faculty, we have something like 400 plus faculty 80 professors, people who can specialize in lots and lots of different areas, it is important that we also enhance the group of people who teach you by a number of uh, overseas faculty. So we typically have faculty from the Carlson School, from uh, South Carolina, from Canada, from Leeds, from Harvard, uh, from Columbia, and, and so on, in order to mix the faculty and make it as international as possible. Last facet of internationalization is field studies. Um, field studies are, uh, or residencies as we sometimes call it, are components in many programs where people go abroad, for example to India, to China, to Brazil, and then spend some time in universities and in particular uh, spend some time visiting companies, visiting projects, and discussing with local managers up-to-date management topics. Next is curriculum. Curriculum is something which obviously has to be cutting edge. We try to basically hit the balance between theory uh, and, uh, and practicality in a very careful way. And uh, for us, we try to do this by employing people who, uh, people meaning uh, professors, who themselves uh, either have worked in industry or have at least a consulting background and work on the site as consultants. So they need to have this sort of managerial attachment and not be purely researchers. Next, we have uh, satisfaction. And satisfaction comes back to ranking because we look at how satisfied our alumni are. And, uh, Ultimately, these are our ambassadors, these are our spokespeople. Consequently, this is our sort of recipe, our basic recipe, our theory, in, if you want, in terms of how to select an MBA program.